it's announced that the uh, Gillespie agency, or they actually make the announcement that Mick Foley has signed a short-term deal with TNA. It's a combination of both a deal with TNA and spike TV. Tell me how that deal came together. I mean, this is a, a big time name and a big star and a big signing and somebody you probably once upon a time thought was unattainable for TNA. And now here you are, you land him here in late summer, 2008. How, how does this come together? Uh, you know, I don't know the exact ins and outs of what happened with him in WWE, but obviously he became on the open market. And there's no bigger fan of Mick Foley uh, than Jeff Jarrett. Uh, you know, me and Mick, I feel like we almost started together because he came to Tennessee, uh, I mean, in the late 80s. And then, you know, we we paired him up with Robert Fuller and then he went out to Texas and had success there. So the first two territories he really worked were, were for my family. So we go way, way back. But to see him evolve as a character and obviously the – the taker match, the hell in the cell and the evolution, but his promo skills and, 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 and his, uh, yeah, by this time, his legendary run, when he came on the open market, um, it was an absolute no brainer. And he wasn't real sure how he wanted to kind of navigate his career at the time. Maybe this is at the beginning of the spoken word tours. He had come off. I don't know how many books he had written at this time, uh, one or two, but Mick just, uh, obviously the world knows how successful and introspective and articulate he is, but to get him to be a part of the brand again, was a huge win and mix an easy negotiation, you know, Barry Bloom. Um, I've said it many, many times. He's top five smartest guys in the history of professional wrestling. Uh, I say that, with the facts, not an opinion. Um, and, and, you know, Barry and myself's conversations and to get Mick on board, um, Spike loved it. It was another, you know, cause he had a relationship with, with Viacom. So it was a win, win, win. And as we got into the main event mafia, in a lot of ways, Mick was su super valuable to that story.